Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Music is Wind podcast. I feel like we were just here, Bethany. Uh, it seems like we were here yesterday. Well, no, two days ago. Two days ago. Yes. Here we are again. Here we are again. To you, it's a week later. I'd like to thank the sponsor of our show, Audio Blocks. As you know, my favorite and only sponsor I've ever truly had on this podcast. And that's all I ever need. All you have to do to get a great discount on an annual subscription to an Audio Blocks library, a.k.a. the biggest music library full of stock audio, royalty-free, that is, then check out audioblocks.com slash music is win. That's audioblocks. A-U-D-I-O-B-L-O-C-K-S dot com slash music is win. And now, let's start the show. Oh, I'm feeling a little feisty today. I have a feeling you're going to do the majority of the talking today. Welcome to the John Mayer episode. That's right. What do you think about that? How many of you just tuned out? What is John Mayer up to? Do you follow him on Instagram? Yeah. You do? Do you watch all of his stories that he puts up? No. No. They're very Something tells me you do. Yeah. <laughs> What's the most interesting one of late? I don't know. He just puts up. He's kind of weird, you know. Yeah. Well, oh, not that. That's a bad thing. He's just a very interesting individual. What would you say? So you can't name like the weirdest one. Um. I mean, he goes off into tangents. Like he won't take a picture of something. He'll just write like a long thing about some weird thought he's having about how it's just a black screen yeah of how why do we exist and how we (laughs) exist and i yeah that's i don't know what a way to use instagram stories yeah it's so innovative i never read them all so i can't give you any details so full disclosure we are recording this on march 6th so It's pretty early in the week for us normally to be recording, but we are traveling this week, so we cannot... We have no other option. Uh, I'm putting out a video tomorrow that addresses the whole hullabaloo around John Mayer's new signature PRS guitar, which we're going to talk about a little bit today, um, among other things regarding that guy. And I'm anticipating mixed reactions, but primarily positive. I'm just... being hopeful in that regard. Do we know how much it is yet? It's like 20 in the two thousand mid-2000 range. Okay. Which I'll talk to you about uh, why that's not important. So uh, anyways, the reason I'm saying that is because this is obviously coming out afterwards uh, from the video I just mentioned. So I'm sort of following up based on absolutely no feedback. <laughs> Which is an interesting way to approach. So you'll have to read all of your fans' yeah, minds, basically. I'm trying to read your minds and predict your reactions and responses. But really, I just wanted to talk about... Where do I begin? <laughs> the floor is yours. It's just so frustrating to... And, and this is obviously fueled by the fact that I love PRS guitars and I really like John Mayer as a guitar player, but it's with that lens that I am frustrated by the amount of, is idiocy too harsh of a word? Are you hating the haters? No, no. Hating, hating is, let me define hating. (laughs) Hating is when you blindly uh, talk negatively about something. Okay. With absolute, absolutely no context or information about the thing you just blindly, you hate for no reason. Uh, what's happening here? What's happening here is I am addressing the state of the guitar community on social media in particular, which is social media is good and bad. Okay, before you go on, can you explain what you're talking about? <laughs> well, that's why I said this is a follow up to the video, so... Uh, what I'm talking about is a lot of people think that John Mayer's guitar is a copy of a Fender Stratocaster. Okay. So he's a copycat is what people are saying. Right. Not, yeah, not him. 
I guess I don't know who they're calling a cat. I don't know if they're calling anyone. They're just saying it's it's not a good idea for a guitar signature guitar, and they're making fun of the fact that. Oh, here I'll, I'll read a couple comments. Uh, this is from some unnamed person. The result of two and a half years of collaboration between John Mayer and Paul Reed Smith, quote unquote, all they could do was rip off a Strat. LMAO. <laughs> Here's another one from some uh, person. I'm not a PRS guy. They're nice, but this just looks like a Strat they're, copy. They're nice. Yeah, they spelled their, uh, the way that certain people spell it. Uh, nothing to see here. Move along. So does it look like a Strat, Tyler? Uh, yes, of course. It looks like a Strat. And what do you think about that? So does that guitar up there. Mm -hmm. And so does a million different brands guitars. So here's my, uh, initial thoughts, which I was, I was much more eloquent in the video, uh, that I mentioned. It's called John Mayer's PRS versus the guitar community. But this is the Music is Wind podcast. It's a little bit more raw. My thoughts are... I can tell you're getting emotional. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Guitar World, Guitar Player Magazine, Ultimate Guitar, all the main publications, uh, they, here's, here's a little insight for you guys. If a Facebook page has millions of likes and yet their post engagement is that of a page with, I don't know, 10,000 likes. That means that at some point in the social media landscape, they bought a lot of likes, meaning they paid for users to... I just found out you can do that. Yeah, so they paid for users to build up vanity metrics to make, you know, we're the biggest guitar, whatever. We have to look the part, essentially. Uh, I don't know if the people in charge now understand that or care or realize that happened, um, it's something that wouldn't be done today, but in the early days of social media, that was how you got clout. Uh, so as a result, really the only people when it comes to these controversial issues, uh, the only people whose voices are being heard are people who don't know what they're talking about. Most of the time trolls, if you want to call them that, um, not a lot of positivity in those comment sections. Unlike my comment section, the music is when community where it's like, these are all real people that I built from zero. Mm -hmm. You have authentic yeah. content and fans and they were brought to your channel naturally. Right. And it's not to say that everyone agrees with everything I say, but they're real people who can, you know, I'd like to think that my fan base, whatever you guys want to be called, are people who uh, understand and have the ability to see multiple perspectives. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a long way to say the loudest, most obnoxious people are the ones that rise to the top when any sort of drama in the guitar world uh, comes out. So, so you're right, because I noticed on... You'll have to explain this. So on your Facebook, you get a lot of really positive comments and the criticism you get is well-written and, uh, you know, not, not full of hatred. But right. <laughs> <laughs> Not full of evil and despair. <laughs> but on, on sites like Guitar World and Guitar Player Magazine, it's just one negative comment after another mm -hmm. and it's such a difference and that's not to say there aren't good people you know in that audience i'm just saying the overwhelming majority it's always just haters and here's a thing about these people that as somebody who's been in this uh kind of limelight and having have been forced to read comments like this for a very long time i've learned a lot about these people and the one glaring characteristic is that not only do these people have no idea what they're talking about, meaning they didn't do any sort of research behind what they're blurting out, you know, metaphorically speaking, Sometimes typing out. didn't even read the article or watch the video. No, no, never, never. <laughs> there is no reading of articles or watching of mm, videos. It's, it's just, just their it's instant just reaction. Instant knee-jerk reaction. Uh, and this is obviously for any industry, 
but it's especially annoying with guitar where it's obviously subjective. If you don't like the look of a guitar or you don't like, you know, X, Y, or Z, then that's fine. But to compare this instrument to another one just because of the way it looks is the most shallow and honestly embarrassing thing to, that you can say because it's like saying, oh, that Ferrari is a Lamborghini because they're both really fast and they both look sleek. Mm -hmm. Done. That's stupid. I can't believe you would make a car like, like, and there's a million other comparisons you can make that are like that. So what do you think of it? What's your immediate reaction to the guitar that he just put out? Uh, I mean, I like it, but I don't like it more than my PRSs. I like this mm -hmm. shape better. Like this is a PRS to me, mm -hmm. but guess what? I'm not a signature guitar person necessarily. I like my own guitar with nobody's name on it. So I can, I kind of feel like this weird like need to have to pave my own way and forge my own path with my own guitar and not, I mean, that's not saying I wouldn't enjoy playing a John Mayer, uh, any guitar fender or PRS, but so I don't know. You're the, just frustrated. I'm with frustrated all by the people who are given voices, honestly. And, and the fact that these false narratives can be so Reinforced. perpetuated across the internet immediately. It's like a virus. It's like a, you know, those zombie movies, like 28 days later, it's like one person got bit and then everyone's a zombie in like five minutes. Yeah. And that is the state of all social media. But is it, I haven't really looked at the comments and stuff, but is is this the majority of people? Uh, well, it's the majority of comments. It so, is. Okay. So, that's, so the majority of people are like, this is dumb. But I think the majority of people are like, this is cool. It's and, just the people who have something to say are the, are the ones. And then do you think other people stuff. see that other people think it's stupid? So then they right. say it's stupid? Because that's, I mean, for lack of a better term, there's a lot of sheep. Mm -hmm. So people follow the herd. Right. They like, just oh yeah, I guess that is a strat. <laughs> what an idiot. Yeah. And little and unbeknownst to anybody else, it's like that person doesn't even know how to play guitar probably. Right. So, uh, I mean, that's mean to say N nobody's better or worse for being a better or worse guitar player, but you know, I hate You don't have you don't have authority to say these things and then people neither do I, by the way. I'm just saying my opinion, but the fact that something can happen Something would be said and then other people can piggyback on. Is well, annoying. I think that's how most, that's how I feel about most people who write negative comments and criticism is different because you can give advice and give your opinion in a way that's not harmful. Yeah. But if it's just, uh, it's really frustrating when people write negative comments and they have no idea what they're talking about uh -huh. and they just, they don't think about what they write and it goes for every type of comment, like this type of comment, people commenting on my looks. It's like, I would like to see a picture of you, dude. <laughs> dude, dude, don't, don't go there. <laughs> yeah. And, and the thing about it, and just to put a bow on this is the, my, the worst comment on this subject has been, oh, this is just a strat copy. No, no I think I'll stick to Fender. Thanks. It's like, this isn't a strat. I get it if you think the headstock looks weird or something, and it's like, that's not for you. That's your taste. But don't say that this is a Strat because it's an S-type guitar. There's, a, there's hundreds of different S-type guitars from many different brands, but because this is PRS, you, you know, it's kind of like you got to chop down one of the giants to make yourself feel better. So do you want to keep talking about this? Well, the last thing I'll what say, else do you have to say, the last Tyler? thing I'll say is that my entire argument that I just made also applies to the Gibson Modern V, which I hate. <laughs> so uh, I think that's pretty ironic. It's like wait, I could so have said all hate? because it was the same reaction with that, but I don't like the Gibson Flying uh, Modern V, so I didn't. So you're saying you have the same opinion about the Gibson, whatever. Yeah. That then you do that other people have about. But it took this Thorn guitar Mayer? that I liked for me to have clarity about the idiots in the guitar community. Hmm. 
So myself included. Did you just negate everything you previously said? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> what? I am so confused now. Well, you know, it's John Mayer Day here on the Music is Wind podcast. So we're going to move on to the random, 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 random facts. Michael J. Fox's rocking guitar solo. <laughs> rocking guitar solo. <laughs> in Back to the Future inspired John Mayer to pick up the instrument at age 13. What instrument, I mean, what guitar solo inspired you to pick up the guitar? Um, Puff the Magic Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Puff the Magic Dragon. That's the only song I know. Live by the sea. It's like three chords. I don't um, know. I don't know the guitar solo in that song. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think there is one. Oops, Tyler. What about you? Well, funny enough, if you stay tuned to the end of the podcast, where I like to give things away, uh, the last week's uh, secret word was eruption, mm-hmm. and I've told this story before, but in case you haven't heard it, I was in my uncle's basement, my late great uncle Jim. Oh yeah, I remember this, and. He had a computer, uh, and this was like, so what would it, this would have been 99? It was basically when media players just came out, so there wasn't an iPod yet, but there was whatever iteration it was, and there was thousands of songs on his computer, and this was a revolutionary technology, and I pressed shuffle, and out of all the thousands of songs, Cliffs of Dover by Eric Johnson came on. And I was like, what the heck is that? And I, I had a vague sense that it was a guitar. And I was like, this is awesome. And then the next, very next song out of all the thousands of songs, Eruption, came on shuffle next. So that was like a melting pot guitar recipe for That's so cool we saw Cliffs of Dover live. I know, we saw Eric That's Johnson really play cool. it. That's really cool. Have you ever seen Back to the Future? Of course I have. Have you? I thought you said you didn't see it. You haven't no, seen it. No, I definitely saw it way later. I think I made you watch it because you were like, what's Back to the Future? And I didn't say what it was. I it. think I you said, did. I've never seen the sequels. You're just... All I know... You've never seen Dirty Dancing either. Whatever. We, we got to... Well, I'm going to show you that one. That's not a big soon. problem. Um. So do you remember... Do you remember uh, Michael J. Fox's solo? Yeah, it was Chuck Berry. It wasn't oh, really a, was it? It, I mean, it was a solo sort of, but, um, so apparently that looked like a lot of fun and Johnny boy picked up the guitar afterwards. Did you, I think my story is so cooler. So you were personally. around the same age as yeah. John Mayer. And the funny thing is I got a guitar pretty soon after that. And then I didn't play it. I, I like plunked along. I played like 007. Dun, 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 and, uh, and like some other I stuff. I like that video game. Yeah, that was a what, good one. What uh, console was Goldeneye that? Goldeneye for 64. Yeah, N64. Nintendo 64. <laughs> uh, so I played that and then I just put it down. I never played it again for like four years until like sophomore year of high school. I picked it up again. And I was like, this is fun. And then the rest is history. Uh, so that's a fun little fact about Johnny's yeah. first... First, wow, uh, this really is a John Mayer podcast. Tyler planned this podcast today, guys. So if you don't like it, well, you know, uh, take it up with him. Sorry about that, <laughs> but I'm not sorry. And now we're going to move on to... Can you play it? Okay, I like it. Okay, I have a feeling... You're going to play some John Mayer for us today. All right, what's that one called, though? What's that one called? Yeah. Dun, dun. It's a bird. It's a bird who you would be probably scared of if you saw. Is there water in the lyrics? Uh, Yes. Walking through. uh, No, he wanted water, but instead he walked through the fire. Walk through the fire. I can't remember how it goes. Down to the wire. He wanted water, 
but he walked through the fire. Isn't that funny? He wanted one thing and he did the opposite. <laughs> Great lyrics, John. Wow. Uh, how about... Uh, oh, why Georgia? Does he have a song named Josie? <laughs> what was I thinking? Rosie? Rosie, maybe it's Rosie. <laughs> okay, how about this one? <laughs> No say. That is. Who did you think it was? I still. I don't. Who know. did you think it was? You don't. You're not a John Mayer trio. That I knew it was person. the trio. Yeah. Okay. What what you got for me next? Okay. This you want to find his new ones? Great job, Tyler. All right. What about this? Always a classic. You gotta have a <laughs> little dyads for any of you music theory Love that nerds song. out That's there. That's one of my favorites by him. Okay, we're halfway through. So. We want to talk about our sponsors, Audioblocks, right? Audioblocks. And um, without Audioblocks, we wouldn't be able to do this podcast. That's correct. All their content is royalty free for use in commercial and personal projects. New clips are added regularly, so there's always something fresh to download. And Bethany, you like hearing nice singing, don't you? Like this? <laughs> exactly like that. Well... Would you prefer to hear a little bit of uh, professional singing from... Are you saying I'm not professional? <laughs> would, would you like to hear other professional singing from <laughs> our better. friends yes. at Audioblocks? How about this guy? Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me shine on. Help wow. me turn down that volume, please. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll edit that. It was beautiful. Uh, so that was just lovely in case you... Let's see if I can find the chord for that. I'm going to try and play along with it. Okay, so... Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me shine on. Wow, that's, that's impressive. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, uh, what do we got next? Yay! Ooh. Yeah, like yeah, 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 Is that yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. That was me singing. All right, let's see if I can accompany that one. Yeah, 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 Close okay. enough. <laughs> okay, now um, ask me if I want to go out to dinner tonight. Would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay, well, then your wish is my command. So, with things like that, uh, among hundreds of thousands of other studio quality sound clips, loops, and effects, you can do stuff like that with Audioblocks. Just go to audioblocks.com slash music is win for a discounted rate on an annual subscription. That's audioblocks, A-U-D-I-O-B-L-O-C-K-S dot com slash music is win. And now we're going to talk about the Twitter debate. Twitter, 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 Twitter,
think about. Um, this is win number three, baby. Win number three. Okay, so this week I asked my Twitter audience, when doing dinner in a movie, which should come first? Gen- <laughs> Let me start. <laughs> I like when you mess up, you go, <laughs> it's, well, it's, either, it's either, it's either, or it's so frustrating. <laughs> I cannot speak well. Speak, woman. Okay. Which should come first, dinner or the movie? Obviously, the movie. Well, 23% agreed with you. <laughs> this is the biggest <laughs> slaughter of all. But you know what? I've actually changed my mind. I don't understand. But I still win. I don't get how you guys could have picked dinner first. That I mean, Because come on. you go to dinner earlier and the movie's late at night. I'm, uh, that's how I imagine. <laughs> Don't go to you go to early movie and late dinner. That's mm. way more romantic. Well, I think you want to go see the movie when there's a bunch of people in it. No, no, that's don't ever go see with other people in it. It's the worst. <laughs> that's when people ruin your experience is when there's a lot of people in there. True. I would say the more practical way to do it would be the way you're saying. And some people and, commented. Um, they pointed out that. If it's like a first date and you don't want any awkward silences or anything, if you if you go to the movie first, you can talk about the movie at dinner. So that's helpful. Right. Well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Because it, you it have something. When I when I, after I eat, I get a little tired. Mm-hmm. Like, who wants to go see a movie after the bit full of a big steak or You're something? You're right. I really kind of agree you, with you. You now. guys blew this one, but I'm that sorry. doesn't mean that I, I. It still means that I won. So. Yeah. Well, that's that is asterisk, <laughs> as they say. Uh. So next week's debate, we'll see what it's going to be. It may have some sort of theme to it. Some beach theme. Depending on where we're going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, so you guys failed me, but that's okay. I forgive you. You better redeem yourself. Next week, let's move along. Rapid speed to... Can you comment? You suck. C- c- can you, can you comment? What kind of strings you use? Can you, can you comment? Bethany's the best. Can you, can you comment? Well, that was a weird comment. Oh, I so got it. sometimes, <laughs> sometimes in this section we also dive into the DMs, uh-huh. which we need a drop for that. So if you guys want to create a drop, <laughs> that'd be great. Dive into um, the DMs. Dive into the <laughs> do 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 DMs. But um, Brian Regan inspired. This time I did not dive into the DMs. It's just yeah. comments from our YouTube section. Okay. So the first comment comes from. Annoying guitar stuff, which you just put up today. Uh huh. Um, it's got a lot of views. Yeah, I think that one's gonna be a hit. Viral. Viral. <laughs> mm. Um, Maddie A says this is the most relatable video ever. Crying, laughing face. I know, Maddie. I know. <laughs> you. I mean, th- <laughs> this was actually I didn't like plan this video. This was just a documentation of my day. You know videos are going to go viral when all of the comments say relatable, saying mm, this happens mm, to me. Mm, mm-hmm. That's just when it's going to be really popular. And the, the funny thing about this video was I've had it on my like list of video ideas for probably four or five months. Oh, I thought you were going to say four or five years. <laughs> no, reason. no, not I was that like, long. It's thanks. just, it was a long video to make. It took me all day. Mm-hmm. Uh, It seems, you know, it's only a five or six minute video, but so much energy goes into these things. So Mm -hmm. thanks for relating to it, Matty boy. Uh, So from our last podcast, this comment is from Bald and Bearded. I feel like I've seen his name before. Oh, really? A loyal podcast consumer. You are traveling to meet with various YouTube artists to record songs with them for your upcoming album are you <laughs> we remember we told them to guess what mm, we're yeah. doing we're traveling everywhere and they don't know yet how did he guess what i'm doing <laughs> i thought that would be a really cool idea well you know i might i may actually do that depending on where i am if i can meet up with a youtuber then i'll do something i may yeah. not record a song but but it would I'll be do cool something to probably create an album though and feature other youtubers on it it would totally be cool i don't know if idea. i'll have time to do it on this trip, but I think that we'll put that in the old uh, idea basket. Idea <laughs> basket that's right there behind me. <laughs> or backpack, I guess a basket Whoa. went. Me. <laughs> I see my backpack right here. Oh. Uh, so okay, yeah, no, uh, not correct, but 
Good suggestion. <laughs> uh, next comment we have is on the video. What's the most beautiful chord you know? And I'm Mayak says, Dan, the white boy on the right is so irritating. That's me. <laughs> he wants to show off all the time. And this is a video I did with Brian, by the way. Okay. He wants to show off all the time and didn't even know that 6-9 basic jazz bossa nova major chords. Jesus, just let the guest, which seems like a really humble man and creative player, the guy's probably just another John Mayer-ish type that only picks up an instrument to pick up girls. Is he talking about you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks uh, for the compliment. What? I'm, I hope you're not picking up girls. Well, first of all, he literally didn't complete one sentence. And so tip number one when you're trying to, you know, form an effective argument, try completing sentences. Uh, tip number you two. You are feisty too. Well, no, I'm just I'm dishing it back. <laughs> uh, tip number two. Uh, I didn't even know that six nine basic jazz bossa nova major chords. What? What is it? Did you say something, or were you just saying words and numbers? A major six nine chord. Are you saying I don't know what that is? You're wrong. Next. Wait, hold on. I like huh? this one. Jesus, just let the guest. Period. Yeah. <laughs> Just let the guest. <laughs> Would you let the guest already? <laughs> hey! <laughs> I was looking for the end of that sentence. Yeah. But he so, uh, didn't complete it. Nice try, but uh, I think you just kind of embarrassed Man, yourself, little buddy. I wish you buddy. were another John Mayer-ish type. I know. <laughs> Then I would have a signature guitar that everybody no, would hate. No, I'm just kidding, Tyler. I love you just the way you are. <laughs> okay, thank you. And I hate John Mayer. <laughs> well, then we're through. That's a lie. <laughs> okay, next comment is origin on the uh, a video called Originality is Impossible, and that's okay. Uh, D-Rock the Illest. I, I picked this comment out. Oh, I did do this part of the uh, podcast. Ye and last week you said you didn't feel comfortable about the positive comments that you're getting so mm -hmm. i decided to include another one <laughs> so, you are a wonderful human being thank you for your existence isn't that so nice <laughs> <laughs> well it wasn't my choice to come into existence <laughs> but you're welcome <laughs> uh, that's a nice contrast from the last guy <laughs> yeah <laughs> how come more people can't be like d-rock the illest yeah that was really sweet. Yeah, thanks, dude. Oh my gosh. You You're a wonderful human being. Thank you for your existence. <laughs> uh, last comment here from the video, Wife Got Me John Mayer Tickets. Why, oh, here we why go. Why did you pick this video? Uh, I was doing, because it's, it goes along with the John Mayer theme. Oh, I see. Uh, so this one's from Andy Salient. He says, I was doing security at Wrigley Field a few weeks ago for what I thought was a baseball game. Halfway through my shift, though, John Mayer literally walks right past me like WTF. Me being a huge fan, I almost passed out, lol. Then Dead <laughs> & Company started a four-hour set. Hashtag best day ever. Cool. That's a good day at work. Yeah, that's a cool story. So you're just doing security like the, I guess they stand towards the tunnel so fans don't jump down to find the players. And, uh... John walks by. That would be awesome. And he's probably wearing those glasses and he's like, <laughs> Hey, what's up, man? Hey. We haven't met John Mayer yet, but I have a feeling we will one day, hopefully. Yeah. After he watches, I have this feeling in my heart. John, I know you're going to watch this podcast or <laughs> you have already watched the uh, video where I'm defending your guitar. You don't have to thank me, uh, but I would appreciate you giving me a ring on my phone. I've Here's texted his you. number, 828. I've texted, <laughs> hey, I've texted you my number a lot. I don't know if I have the right number, but um, I'd appreciate a response from you. Thanks you in advance. Him? Yeah. What? I have his number. Are you serious? Yeah. You're lying. I know. <laughs> Why well, you I think I have say, John Mayer's number? you have John Mayer's number, <laughs> Jeez, you'll uh, believe I'm anything. <laughs> oh, man. What are you going to text him? I'm going to say, hey, John. Yeah, I'm sure that'll <laughs> translate. Through. I'm going to text him my, my phone number. Wait, he'd already have it. <laughs> Good one. Bethany, you're not thinking this through. Oh. Uh, All right. Well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the Music is Wind podcast, John Mayer special. Uh, if you don't like John Mayer, you don't like his guitar, then you probably aren't listening right now. So I don't care. I didn't give away the, the eruption. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, you need to do that. While you do that, I'll keep talking. Um, check out my new <laughs> YouTube channel. I'm vlogging everywhere, me and Tyler. Uh, did I say that right? Everywhere. Yeah. No. Everywhere Tyler and I travel. Mm, yes. Um, and I'm really excited about the vlog that comes out today. Hopefully, I got it done. Um mm. Mm-hmm. Because it will be of us in Miami. So it should be fun. The winner is Phineas Q for saying your uncle must have been a pretty cool dude. Because he was. And guess what you win? Ernie Ball guitar strings. Any kind Woo-hoo! you want. Any gauge, acoustic or electric. Hey, look. Look who's on there. <gasps> That's, That's funny. Friend. I did not even plan that. I did not plan <laughs> that. <laughs> sure. So uh, any, any strings you want, uh, check your DMs and I will get your address and you can have... There's a lot of different kinds in here. There's like nickel, there's coated, there's the uh, the ones that are unbreakable, apparently. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for the next uh, giveaway. The word will be... Mm-hmm. What's it going to be? Um, it needs to be something good. Hurry. <laughs> Hurry. Um, Hater. Hater? Hater. Huh, okay. That's the word. Because none of us like haters. And it's going to be a darn good tweet. I'll tell you that much. All you have to do is comment on the tweet and you are automatically entered to win something. Of course, you have to listen to this podcast and check your DMs to know that you won. With that, I will bid you all adieu. And until then, keep shredding.